I was chilling, minding my business, getting ready to go to OnlyFans when I got this Instagram message from this particular sister. I won't mention her name right now because she probably don't want nobody to know that she's watching stuff like this. But this clip was very interesting and let's check it out. Well, good afternoon, good morning, people. My name is Marcel Gorbitz and Galeta Graham. We're seeking a younger person from the age of 19 to 26 and you are seeking? The same, the same. So, when we're looking for someone, we want someone to be there for us. It don't have to be financially because, you know, we're a older person. Mm -hmm. We have our own cars, our own homes. We're just looking for a lover. Yes. If you're interested, please reach out to us. Make a comment, make as a like. As soon as possible. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful day. Yes. I hope to see you guys. So these are two Caribbean grannies and, you know, they're still looking all right. And you heard what they said. They looking for somebody 19 to 26 to booty glamour sounds. That's right. Trying to pay to get those cheeks clapped. And again, this sort of thing is happening more and more and more as women get more professional, start making more money and everything like that. Younger guys are on the prowl trying to get to the bag and the ladies are just trying to get their cheeks clapped so your boy goes on tiktok and i was looking to see if there are any more stories quite like this and to my amazement there was but let's stop the show remember when lala anthony broke up with carmelo anthony and we started hearing things like this here's how it goes <laughs> this is what i'm finding i don't understand this this is how it goes okay when you're younger, you want to date older guys. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying when you get older, you want to date younger guys. But when you get older, only younger guys want to date you. It's the wildest thing. Literally, guys will DM me or want to take me out. And I'll Google them. I'll be like, you're 22 years old. Like, wh how? how? Like, how does this work? But, like, so confident. So, like, I want to take you out. I, I, I think you're amazing. And I'm just like when's what's the cutoff like i don't know the cutoff i'm just saying what is the cutoff no, it's a real but, thing but okay but we gotta go back okay. we'll get to that next. But, yeah because we do have but i don't get that. what this thing yeah. is like no it's a real thing the older you get the younger the guys get it. it's wild now back to those clips this story was actually pretty interesting from this lady who talks about in olden days older women use younger men to teach them how to become good lovers let's check it out did you know that in ancient cultures, older women were used to train young studs to become great lovers? So we all know that when younger men want to be great lovers, that they will engage the services of an older woman. That doesn't mean that love cannot flourish. It doesn't mean that there aren't young men with old souls who want to love a grown woman. But we have to be very careful that we don't get carried away with the narrative so it is very natural to be cautious to take your time to really see if the dynamic makes sense with you and if it does and if you're okay with the dynamic if you're okay being the provider for instance if you're okay being the dominant one if you're okay being the masculine in that relationship that can work a treat but you will always be at a bit of a disadvantage if certain dynamics are not in place but the last part of that was the most important you know she was saying things like if you're a woman are you okay with being more masculine are you okay with being more of a provider and those are questions that need to be answered but we'll deal with it a little bit later i also saw this other clip where this lady was talking about how you know having a younger man in society has really been good because they're checking their mental health and it was just kind of crazy in my honest opinion i've noticed recently like a lot of women and maybe even a lot of women of color have been dating men that are younger than them and i think it's really interesting and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a significant age gap it doesn't necessarily have to be like 10 or 15 years younger than you I, i've been seeing women who are dating two or three years younger or five years or even 10 years if they're a little bit older like 50 or 40. And I think this is interesting because I think we tend to assume that because a man is older that he's more experienced and has more, you know, emotional availability and he's been through X, Y, and Z and thus can be a better provider. But sometimes that's not the case. 
I think this generation of men, especially younger generation of men um, that we're seeing grow up um, surrounded by um, the media and celebrities and people just on like an app like TikTok talking about mental health, talking about their sexuality, um, gender, and kind of having this open talk and having it more in our social conversations and it being socially acceptable has paved the way for people to, especially the men, um, to be a little bit more in tune with their masculinity and with their emotions and thus being able to, I think, process a bit better the things that they're going through, the trauma that they've gone through. Um, you know, I've noticed like a lot more men going into therapy, which is something like I don't think I would have seen probably 10 years ago. I think a great example of this uh, when it comes to an age gap, especially a woman of color um, example, would be um, Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. Gabrielle Union is 46 years old, Dwayne Wade is 36 years old, and um, obviously they have their baby together, Kavya, but Dwayne Wade had, um, I think, three kids with his other um, partner. And as we know, you know, one of his children, um, Zaya, it, um, is, you know, transgender and he has stuck by her and the way in which he advocated for her and understood her and all the things like was so beautiful to watch especially with him being in um like a an industry where it's very masculine and people are afraid to kind of come out and talk about their sexuality and stuff being an NBA and whatnot so I thought it was great to see the approach that he took with um Zaya and yeah I mean I think that's just such a great example I personally haven't dated anybody younger, but if you have, let me know in the comments, how did that go? How do you feel like dating younger has impacted um, the intimacy and the emotional connection in your relationships if you have? And uh, what has your experience been with dating maybe an older guy, maybe somebody that's 10 years older than you? Have you seen a difference? Let me know. For me, that made no sense. But if you look at some of the comments here that's going across the screen, here are women talking about, listen, I have a man that's like a lot younger than me and he's much better than the ex that I had before. But the reality is this, right? Whenever an older woman has a younger man, this is just on average. There is not a lot of respect there. And it is what it is. It's pretty much just sex. Even if the younger guy has more money, like let's look at the Zion Williamson in the Mariah Mill situation. Now again, Zion Williamson is completely, you know, more rich than her. I mean, he's 21, 22, something like that. And she's like 30 years old, but there's an eight year gap. And the reality is she looks at him as a younger man that's not to be respected. My mother and father were married for almost 20 years and they divorced. I'll tell you why they probably divorced. My mom was like five to six years older than my dad. And she looked at my dad as somebody that just couldn't lead. So he would not have gotten their respect, although he was a good man to her. Overall, he made a lot of mistakes. He's not going to get that kind of respect. And Dr. Tia San Johnson touched on this a little bit with a similar topic about son husbands, women that make more than their men, but still at the end of the day, they don't respect them. I noticed I actually had a brother reach out to me and he's uh, he was he was talking about he was married and his wife is a six figure earner. And he talked about her girlfriends that would come over and complain about their husbands. And as he would talk about it, one of the things he shared with me is they had to ask for an allowance from their wives just to go hang out and drink a beer. I was just kind of asking him some more questions about it. And one of the things he revealed is that this group of six figure earning women were all exclusively married to brothers who were uh, ex cons. And if anything, they were unemployed and to some extent homeless when they met, you know what I mean? And so now they're kind of uh, house husbands, which there's nothing wrong with if that's what works for your relationship. But the problem was the women were actually complaining about the fact that they didn't have an income, complaining about the fact that they weren't the men that, you know, they, that they've been idealizing since they were young. And yet mm -hmm. these were the men that they, they chose, right? And so mm -hmm. he, he was confused and he, he reached out to me because he was asking me, why is this the case? And as I started to look into it, I realized it really wasn't a whole lot different than son husband. So again, son husbands could be the same age or less than age, but the reality is these women are looking for somebody they can dominate. If they can use you for sex and you need the money, then guess what? If anything goes wrong, they putting your ass out. They're, they're not gonna respect you. Now they'll sleep with you. And that's what guys need to understand. Just because a woman will have sex with you, it doesn't mean that she's gonna respect you. 
And every man wants his respect. And if you want to be disrespected, all you got to do is get with somebody who has an advantage over you, whether it's money, age, or anything like that. And then you'll see as a man how likely you are to be exploited by that. And it happens. Black male exploitation happens every day, especially as women are out earning men in certain aspects. Not all, but certain aspects. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode here of Fair Use. We're out.